Hi, I'm Terry Vanderheid, professional photographer, here to show you a quick tutorial on how to improve the eyes of your wildlife subjects. Photoshop is such a great tool for improving your images, and your wildlife images can benefit as well. Some of these tips you can do in Lightroom, but some you can't, so I'm going to show you the Photoshop way of doing this. I'm going to try to show you everything in about two minutes, so things are going to go by real fast. But if you'd like to see a full step-by-step -step video of how I do these effects with a lot more examples, check out the full-length video I have on YouTube. Just search for my channel using at TV510, search for photography, and you'll find my channel. Let's get started. Okay, here's a picture of a coyote. We're gonna take the zoom tool, zoom up the eyes, because that's what we're gonna be working with. Go to the, the adjustment layers and grab a hue and saturation. Bring up the saturation, fill our layer mask with black, that way we can paint with white and just paint in the areas that we want to improve. So we're going to paint in the irises there and that's going to be painting in that hue and saturation that we just did. Another adjustment layer for levels and we're going to pull this up, make it a little bit brighter, change that to black for the layer mask and then just paint in with white. So now we're just painting the bottom parts of the iris. We'll do one more layer, adjustment layer and that's going to be a real extreme. So we'll pull that over, change that to black paint in white, we're just going to paint the bottom part of the iris, just the bottom part of the iris. Now, the last thing we're going to do, add a new layer, and this is where we're going to go grab our eye highlight brush. If you don't have one made, the longer video will show you step by step on how to make one. We're going to take this brush, paint with light blue, because that's going to be reflective of the sky, and we're just going to dab, Boop. Two, two dots, one dot in each eye, and now we go back to our soft round brush because we're working on a layer mask here soon. Here's the layer mask, and now we're gonna take and paint in black and remove everything that wouldn't be reflective, like the fur. And now we've just got the reflection in the eye. We're gonna lower that opacity of that brush and then just kind of make it a little more curved. So we're gonna make it a little more rounder and make it, because obviously it's a reflection in an eye, so we're gonna do the edges because that's gonna be a little fall off on both sides. And that way the reflection looks a little more realistic. As we pull back, you can see, see that's pretty extreme, but the nice thing about Photoshop is you have the ability to go into each layer and lower the opacity until you get to exactly what you're looking for. So we'll lower the opacity on these and just get to the adjustment where we like it. And there, there's a before, or the after rather. And then here's before where we started, and this is how you enhance the eyes. You're adding color, you're adding depth, and you're adding eye highlights. I know that's a pretty fast version, but if you'd like to see more detail like how I make my eye highlight brush, then go over to YouTube, search for at TV510 photography, and you'll find my channel and you'll see the whole video right there. Thanks for watching.